Hi everybody and welcome to another Academic Resource Center screencast. Following up on our award-winning episode, How to Search for Classes Online Using WebAdvisor, today we're going to take a look at the online registration process in WebAdvisor. And I can hear you asking yourself already, but why do I need to know how to register online? Don't I get batch registered for all my classes automatically? And while many, though not all, students at MCPHS are indeed batch registered for classes every semester, there are still a few reasons why you should know how to use the online registration system. For one thing, no one is batch registered for electives at MCPHS. You have to add those to your schedule yourself, and you can do that in WebAdvisor. Additionally, you're allowed to adjust your schedule online by changing sections during approved registration periods. This can come in handy if, for example, you'd prefer to take calculus at 1 in the afternoon rather than 8 in the morning. And while you can make any of these changes by meeting with an advisor in the ARC, sometimes it's just easier to stay in your pajamas at home and click a couple of buttons instead of getting all dolled up to come down to the Academic Resource Center. So how does all this work? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's take a look at WebAdvisor to find out. When we're just searching for classes, we use the Search for Sections link. But since we want to register for classes now, we're going to try something else. The most versatile link for searching and registering, and the one we're going to use today, is this one, Register for Sections. You can use it to search for classes, register for classes, or both. Clicking on this will bring you to a new page where you're given a new set of links to choose from. Let's start with Search and Register for Sections first, and we'll come back to the other two in a minute. As you can see, the link brings you to the course search page. I'll skip the gory details of searching for classes for now, but I'm going to be looking for a Calculus 1 class just like last time. And after just a few clicks, we've got some results. You might not notice it at first, but the results page here is actually slightly different than the one that you get when you go through the standard search. For one thing, you can resort how the search results are displayed whether you want to see them listed in order of term and section name, the default, or by the instructor's name or the location of the class. On top of that, if the initial search results you get are too broad and you don't want to scroll through six pages of classes, you can click on the Narrow My Search box and it'll bring you back to the main search page where you can enter in additional search criteria to cut down on the number of your results. You don't have to enter your original search terms in again, just add in anything else that will refine your results the way you want. The last difference is the most important one. It's the thing that makes this such a useful part of WebAdvisor. On the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see a column of checkboxes under this Select heading. Each class section has its own checkbox. Like the column heading says, these boxes are here so that you can select which classes you're interested in. So let's say I'm interested in taking this 1 p.m. calculus class. All I have to do is click the box next to it, hit submit, and like magic, both the class and I are brought here to my preferred sections list. The preferred sections list is where you go to actually change your schedule online. It's a lot like the online shopping cart you use at Amazon.com, only here you're shopping for classes. At the top of the page, you've got the classes that you put in your shopping cart earlier that you might want to add to your schedule. To add a class, just select register from the drop-down menu next to it, as long as the class is open, you have space in your schedule, and it won't bring you over 18 credits, that's the full-time credit limit, then you just go to the bottom of the page and click Submit to register for the course. Of course, if there's an issue, for example, if the class you want to register for is closed, then the system won't let you make the change and you'll get an error message at the top of the screen. You can drop classes from the preferred sections list too. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen and you'll see the classes that you're currently registered for as well as any classes that you've got coming up next semester. To drop one of these, just check the box next to the appropriate class. Again, hit submit and the course will be removed from your schedule. Be careful though, if you drop a course that's full, you won't be able to get back into it again unless it opens up again. Now being able to add and drop courses online is great, but what's even better is being able to do both at once. Why? Well, what if you want to register for a class that meets at the same time as another class that's already on your schedule? You'll only be allowed to add the new class if you drop the old one. To do a simultaneous add and drop like this, select Register for the course that you want to add, then click the box next to the course you want to drop. Once you've done that, click Submit, and both changes should be made at once. It's that easy. 
And that's the basics of online registration. Before we go, though, let's go back to the main students menu. I want to mention a few more links that I glossed over before. The first one is the register and drop sections link that I see here. If you click this, it will bring you directly to your preferred sections page. The other link that I skipped earlier are available through the register for sections link. So those other links are the register for previously selected sections link and the drop sections link. Clicking on either one of these links will also bring you back to your preferred sections list. Having this kind of direct access to your shopping cart is handy, especially if you're tracking a closed class and you want to see if it's opened up since the last time you checked. You don't have to go back and search again to find the course that you were looking for. Just go to your preferred sections list and you can get all the information you need right there. So now that you know how to register for classes online, the next question is when do you get to do this? Well, the times you'll be using the online registration system the most are during the add drop periods, usually the first few days of the semester. That's when students make the majority of their schedule changes, whether it's switching lab sections or adding and dropping elective classes. The other time you might use the online registration system is during the final few days of pre-registration. That's when the registrar's office usually opens it up to students so that students can do things like add distributive, program, and professional electives to their schedules for the upcoming semester. You should keep in mind, though, that students aren't always allowed to register all at once. If they were, the system might crash. Because of that, the registrar's office usually randomly assigns students times when they can begin registration. If you ever want to find out what your registration time is, just log on to WebAdvisor and check out your program evaluation. You should find your answer right at the top of the page. And that just about wraps up another informative screencast from the ARC. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll tune in next time when we're going to talk about the wonderful world of program evaluations. Until then, stay classy, MCPHS.